All right, welcome back. We're here to make the awnings over top of our windows. So that means that we are going to need some construction lines just like before. So let's create some construction lines come from this edge in one foot over on the other side. Oof, not where I wanted to click right on that edge over one foot. And now we're going to come from that bottom. Remember, we want to be on that inside edge, not on this outside edge. Get on that inside edge. We're going up seven feet. Type it in. And there we go. Now we're going to make a rectangle. Start in this corner. And we're going to make a rectangle. Ten feet. Two feet. Return. Ten feet by two. OK, now to make life easier for us. Double click inside, right click, make a component, hold the awning, glue to horizontal, click OK. I assume at this point I'm going fairly quickly because I think you should uh, be able to catch on quick having done the other assignments. Now we're going to move this with a copy. So you're going to push the control button on your Chromebook. I pushed option on a Mac. If you're wondering at the bottom here, mine says option toggle copy. If yours says something different, that's the button you push to copy the object. I'm going to grab this inside corner because that's going to lock over here for me. And now I have made my object over here. So now we're going to modify this object. We modify one. It will modify both. That's the beauty of components. Come to the push pull and let's pull this out. Uh, we got to edit it, double click on it. And let's pull it out. There we go. Three feet. Three feet. One side moves, both sides move. Let's next move over. And let's orbit around because we're going to make this on a arc. Nice rounded top on an awning. Um, we're going to come and we're going to pick these arcs. The arc you need to pick is this two point arc. Make sure you pick the two point arc. If you pick the wrong one, it won't work out very well for you. Okay. First click will be on the top. Second click here. Now the third click will be on the face. And we want to make sure that this doesn't go over top. So what I'm going to do is just pick a good point here on the edge, making sure that it is not going to go over top. I'll even zoom in here as I move along that line and something like that. Okay. If you don't want to get that up close and personal, that is okay. So I've made that. You've noticed it made my arc on the other side. Now push pull this edge, click on that back side, and suddenly it has rounded that corner for me. Okay. I clicked on the opposite side and got rid of it. Now we're going to pull this one and we're going to put another awning over on the side because we're going to have a drive through window. So let's pick the move. Let's copy. I'll press option. And I'm going to pick, oof, I'm in the edit still. We got to get out of edit. So go to here, just click somewhere and then hit the move button. You hit your control key and we'll make another one of these. Sure, I'll lock it there for now. Let's rotate it, come into the move, rotate. Pick the point you want to rotate around. So I'm going to rotate on the blue axis. If it doesn't pick the right one, press the up arrow on your keyboard. I'm going to pick that corner. And from there, 
Let's slide that over so it is exactly where I want it. Now let's pick a good point to grab it and move it. And I'll pick it on the side right there, okay? This one is gonna be smaller than the others. So we're gonna scale it down. We're gonna scale it down 60% the size of these. All right, so to do that, let's click on this. And we're gonna find the scale tool, which is in the move tool. Now I can scale this down. Let's pick the top corner here and we'll scale it down. And you can see in my uh, corner, it says scale, the numbers are changing in the bottom right corner. And I'm gonna type in 0.6 so I can get 60%. There it is. Now let's put some stripes on our awning. Double click, so we're in the edit mode again. And we are going to create equal spaces in between. Five equal spaces. So let's go to the move button. Since we're in edit, here it is with the scale. You click your toggle button. Now it's not working out for me here. Oh, here we go. Toggle. I'm gonna click on this edge. I'm gonna move it to that edge. And now I'm gonna push divided by five, return. Each of them will get the five equal spaces. So if you need to go back and take a look at that, please do that, okay? So that's the awning. We're gonna add some colors later. Let's uh, get out of edit mode for now. Click on save and I hope you'll join me for the next video.